Okay, so you see this flap right here? Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai in Kia Cars. Bear with me and pardon my angle here today, but this is the best I can do at the moment. And I'm here today to show you, ladies and gentlemen, 2024, the facelifted Kia Sorento. For the first time on Sorrento, that is volcanic sand brown. I know you guys are thinking already, where is the brown in that color? But well, you know, that's what Gia decided to call it. That is the Snow White Pearl in gravity trim. Again, I'll show you all about this super up close right now. This is the gravity trim I have in front of me and you can see the front radiator grill looks completely different because of the high gloss finish. There still is the Tiger Mask Essence running across this car. The DRL, let me show it to you up close. It's discontinued right here. That edge towards the tip still reminds me of Digital Star Map signature lighting that we saw from Kia EV9. What do you say? And all those LED lights for the headlamp, the LED headlights, as you can see, and the DRL stretches all the way down to here. So this is the where the most abundant change has been made when it comes to the exterior look, the front and the light, right? Opposites United that is running across this headlamps. And definitely there is a ton of that found on the wheels. There is one running horizontally, but vertically as well at the same time. And you might think that the whole turn signal would blink up as a whole together, but nope, that is not the case. Turn that on. This is the turn signal that you get. So the matrix pattern and the side repeater also gets the lights as well. It kind of comes in like that and then shoots out. So because of the curvature and the design, I don't think the speed itself is different. However, it feels like it's shooting up faster towards that edge. As it lights up, we can see more abundantly. There is also that star map design on the turn signal and this tip and edge portion. Another big difference is that the bonnet, the hood has been changed. Compared to the island type bonnet that we had on the previous Sorrento, kind of carved inside on the hood like that. However, you see it has been elongated both front, the sides, and the design also has been changed greatly thanks to the bonnet. So you see how it accelerates and decelerates towards this portion here. And it's, uh, there is also a little bit of a curvature and the edge over here as well. So just like this color right here, it is more obvious with this design right here where it kind of drops quickly the masculine and the bold design out of the Sorrento. Very straight and rigid lines on the bonnet. However, when it comes down to here, carved and it kind of uh, matches up really well with the rear taillights. You see, so there are a lot of this portion throughout the Sorrento. Let me show that to you. Come check out this design. It's still exactly the same as that of the previous model, but it really goes flush with the pillar here, the piano finish, and also the glass and the design, the tip of this rising quickly. And this has been implemented on Gia Sedona or Carnival now, right? Right? So this C pillar actually stands out a lot when seen in person and on the streets. The gravity trim and it has snow white pearl color. This wheel saying out loud, hey, this is the opposites united. Centerpiece in the middle and there are only four spokes going up and down and left and right. That is bold. It's 255, 45, 20. It looks like an 18 to be honest, but this, wow, is a 20. What do you think? And also the wheel arch right here. Unlike Santa Fe, as I've told you, we'll be comparing a lot to Santa Fe today. It has a good old traditional circular cladding as well as the wheel arch and wheelhouse. There is not much of a over fender essence of the Sorrento, unlike Santa Fe. And that is the same for the front fender as well. Let's go inside and check out what it looks like inside the gravity trim. First and foremost, this is the design that I loved about Sorrento. This design, it's like a gill kind of a thing. It reminds me of, of a lot of things. What is the first thing that comes across your mind when looking at that? So self-explanatory buttons, no big surprises, of course, right? The Sorrento kick plate, and you can move your seats that way. Foot rest and foot brake and the accelerator so let's get inside all right so this is the interior of Sorrento the driver's seat the steering wheel it's a steel the same good old Gia emblem and logo that we have seen 
thus far and also the same UI and infotainment system. This is something that we've seen from EV9 as well. I once thought that those shapes around the corners and edges were representing some of the EV9. However, it's most likely representing the Kia design now. You get this gigantic, beautiful 12.3 inch monitors left and right. Finally, Sorrento gets that display too. It was 10.25 right before this model. And we know that Sportage, the little brother of Sorrento had 12.3, whereas Sorrento, the last model, had the 10.25. Finally, finally gets that changed into the dial type. And God, somebody had the somebody had the heated seats on. No wonder why I'm sweating. The ventilated seats and heated seats, just like that, at the push of a lever. It's very intuitive and direct, and you can get it's really well within your reach. Thicker tip and getting slimmer throughout the design. I love the fact that I can also spot that inside a vehicle as well. So it goes along with the exterior design also. This, you can cover it up with the cover just like that, the piano black. Unfortunately, well, it's not going to be finger resistant they're doing the best at the moment to come up with such but it's not at the moment so just push it you see there are C types so that is for the charging push it one more time that is for the data transfer and charging at the same time so you see good that they have used the different colors so you know immediately visually telling that it's in that status and the wireless charging pad right here that you can just simply throw your phone in and let me show you the light is right there telling you indicating that the phone is currently being charged the thing is the phone is actually at an angle so you are not going to be able to kind of use the phone as much so probably that's in there for complete charging purpose just like that so for your information this is the iphone 14 pro max with some of the plastic covers around it so that is the space that i get you're not going to be able to fit anything Pro Max like on the left. Put your phone in, uh, probably some, some like a car key. In my case, MagSafe credit card. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that much of a spacious interior compared to that of the Santa Fe where they had the dual chargers here and they just had gigantic space right in the middle because one of the differences is that the Kia Sorento has this dial type shift by wire and it's much better than the traditional the T-shaped Kia Fit the physical transmission lever so it's an upgrade however Hyundai has moved this right into the steering wheel column right here so they even got rid of this portion too and they could get creative with their interior as well for that reason again it's not a fair game to Sorrento because it's not an all new model at the moment as we know so really curious as to what Gia has in the store next drive modes here heated steering wheel auto hold and EPB the parking view cam that I know we've all been waiting for look at that so surround view cam just like that you can check your sides on the driver's seat and the passenger seat bird eye view 360 degree view and both front and so you can customize the views that you want to get the boundaries with for your front bumpers and whatnot and just rotate it around for the real-time view just like that i'm not so sure if it's just this car yeah i think it's by coincidence so it's not customized to your car spec i can tell that from the wheel right so it's just the coincidence that is in a white snow white pearl color so that's not it however one thing that is very worth mentioning is this digital center mirror so nothing is broken here don't get me wrong it's just the pillar so this is the digital center mirror again something that Sorrento Santa Fe has got as well so this is the typical rear view mirror that you would have gotten but this is the digital center mirror the plus is that you get clear view 24 7 despite the weather just like the digital side mirrors has been if you have people sitting inside the second row as well as if you have your luggage full on the trunk your rear view is obstructed you don't need to worry about that with the digital center mirror the camera is attached right behind on the rear glass so there is no obstruction whatsoever and you can also change your settings you could you see you could brighten this up and when you just tack this around you could rise this up and you could lower 
the angle, the view angle as well. This is the fingerprint recognition system. So get inside, use your smartphone and you can fire up this car. And once it does, it will go into the presets that you had. In that's including the driver's seating position and, and also the steering wheel with the telescopic. Everything will go in automatically. And there are two memory seats and also just check that out. So this button right here, the driver's seat gets the ergo motion seat. You see right there, you know what this is if you have been in Genesis before. Whenever I go on a long distance drives, but not just that, like literally almost every time I hop in this car, I turn this on the whole body support and I think it lasts for 20 minutes. Yep, you could, so you could have some of the other settings here for your ergo motion seat. So yep, there we go. Yeah, I always set it to the long 20 minutes because the 20 minutes just fly every single time I turn it on. So you could control the other settings here, just the typical thing, the UI, the GUI that we have seen before on other previous Kia cars and also Hyundai Motor Group family thus far. This panel we are used to, we've seen it on other Kia cars thus far. It has made its way to Sorrento as well and you could easily switch around the AVN and the navigation system at a tap of your finger. Tap it, turn it around. The drop down glove box, the good old type as you can see the one more thing i want to point out is the vent there is now the horizontal vent unlike those gigantic air vents that we have seen on previous models the previous model had those gigantic vents left and right in the middle however it has been slimmed down to this goes really well with this 12.3 inch dual wide panoramic display just like that it goes really well together and the rear of sorrento has changed a lot as well just come over here open up your trunk using that button right there you see well to be honest it's not as wide or it doesn't really open as wide as the santa fe the typical trunk that we are used to when it comes to a family a mid-size suv like that of the sorrento that is the design that's been changed once again this is the six seater so it has the captain seats in the second row seat as we can see and when the third row is pulled up to be honest an adult will have a bit of a struggle traveling long distance sitting in the third row seat on this sorrento compared to that of the santa fe but just like santa fe has been you can easily fold your third row seats with a single hand like that and i like that touch they have the velcro over there so that this one doesn't really you know flip around as much seat belt clip right there so it doesn't make the rattle sound driving it around because it does when you don't put it on here and that is the reason why it's there so it's going to make that funny rattling noise if you don't stick that in right there ac exclusively for the third row fold second row seats with a push of a button just like that but it's not fully automated it just quickly drops down and i want to point out that it's not fully flat so look at that they are somewhat really connected well all together however it is angled towards the end just like this so i'll go over there and see what's going on with that one however it's not fully flat yep maybe there is oh so it could have so, all right so it was the armrest so when you fold it down like this so you still see some angle you can probably tell from the video that it's not completely fully flat however the thing is watch closely because i only have one hand when you fold the second seats you see it actually dives down a little so to best provide a seat possible and flat bed as possible it actually dives down just a little bit the rails are actually all manual for the second row seats let me give you some look at the rear view seats everything folded so this is what it feels like with everything folded i am not going to have a plenty of time to measure give you the tape measures on the full interior but uh, it's actually it's much smaller than santa fe that is for sure this is my personal favorite the panoramic sunroof from the second row seat and that is something that santa fe does not get let's get inside the second row seat of sorrento i'm in the second row seat and there is the third row seat on the back 
and well you see it gives me a spacious room inside but again i've been going back and forth to <laughs> hyundai santa fe and it feels not as roomy or spacious as it as i did in santa fe i gotta be honest the second row seat isn't all too bad the napa leather seats and also the quilting patterns here well again enough of santa fe but I know that that's what's gonna be the case. There's the manual blinds on the second row seat. And I like the fact that the second row window rolls down completely. So it's really flush. The heated seat for the second row seat as well. One giant cup holder and the second row seats, the AC vents in the middle, the 12 volt. You can also get 220 volts inside, maximum 200 watts. Just the grill mesh here for your document and all. Whoa, it's really stiff. The same for left and right and C charging ports left and right. You can use that button to move the passenger seats from the driver's seat. The driver's seat looks like this and also the digital center mirror. That is one beautiful piece of technology, by the way. If you are debating, you should get it. Gigantic panoramic sunroof. We haven't seen that on Santa Fe whatsoever. So just pull it up. We're going to get it stretches out to here. Let me show it to you outside. That is the sunroof that we get. Just look at this gigantic, gigantic sunroof. Beautiful panoramic sunroof. This looks absolutely beautiful. You can see that it comes with the Corel Premium Sound System. And there's another cup holder here too, huh? Santa Fe bragged a lot about having 12 cup holders. I wonder what Sorrento has. So there are two on the seats. Not sure if Sorrento would count that as a cup holder. So press that button. So that is actually a easy access to the third row seat. So, okay, so it says precisely not a cup holder. So there is one cup holder here, two, four, and six. So there is two in the center, two, four. This is the volcanic sand brown. The brand new color that's been implemented on 2024 Sorrento. Someone turned the cluster into the traditional type right here. And that is, let me just quickly show you the interior and the colors. I have always been loving this um, caramel like leather interior color that Kia has been putting on their cars. And one more time, that is the center console and nothing different from the gravity trim that we saw i just want to give you a walk around and detailed look of each colors and seats and the second row seat running on 235 60 18 and this is the five spoke so-called design theme of Kia that is opposites united. Do you see that on this wheel too? So this is the HEV model with volcanic sand brown. And this design looking at it super up close, this is the word this is the where the turn signals light up. It really reminds me of those um, OLED lights that I have seen from M4 GTS, if I may say. It is bright because it's LED, but I can look directly into it as you can see. All of that lights up individually. So it's not the one whole long thing that lights up all together. The side repeater, if you just look at it from the very front, you don't really see the end of the lights either but if you just walk a step away or I should say two or three steps away so that is the lights that I see actually I lost just one thing let me quickly go back to the rear of this car and that is the rear design the design has been changed quite a lot when it comes to the rear bumper that that is the reverse light as we know and that seems to be super bright as well no big surprise when it comes to the lower portion of the vehicle this for your information is underneath of the HEV model as specified right here so the bottom portion of the rear bumper is clearly different from the predecessor and I want to pop the hood and show you what's underneath of this 1.6 HEV 
I feel the latch right here. So it's not like the EV9 where the whole thing would open up automatically. There is the gas left much better than the skewer type right so that is a good 1.6 hybrid model system that we all saw from the previous model as well there has been the minor upgrade with the power when it comes to the hybrid because of the enhanced motor the details are to follow but that is made official and specified by Gia as well so the motor here the 1.6 engine the good old motors and setup that we know so there is a little bit of a rubber that stretches out only to here there is no rubber on this portion however okay so you see this flap right here it's not completely a plastic so you could probably feel and hear it from the way it's flapping so this is also a rubber so this missing portion right here from the bonnet is actually covered and backed up with this rubber like material on top of the headlight right there so there's the rubber here so there's the rubber here so pretty much all of the front portion has been covered with the rubber so that is going to reduce noise coming into the cabin wind breaking from the front and also increase with the mpg lowering the coefficient of drag so if you measure them one by one all of these would have different sizes and even this um vertical design is not found everywhere again this is the gravity trim but you see this is more horizontal and rectangular when it comes to the front radiator grill you could easily put your hand in and that is for the maximum air going into the radiator but we know sorrento is not a performance oriented vehicle so that usually has to do with the look and the design of a car so the bottom portion as well the bottom stays the same with the led fog lamps on the left and right so the horizontal design all right so that's it for today's video with 2024 facelift sorrento don't forget to subscribe and like cars in korea if you did and i'll see you in the next video hopefully with a test drive of this car i'll see you over there bye and let me quickly get some specs and numbers out of the way sorrento currently has the same lineup as the previous model so that is the 2.5 turbo and it comes with the 2.2 diesel and 1.6 hybrid there are very subtle differences um, made official by kia that is both of the internal combustion engines including the 2.5 turbo and 2.2 diesel actually had their mpg reduced by 0.2 kilometers per liter due to enhanced safety regulation and in order to keep up with that on the other hand with the 1.6 hybrid it is the same power it is the all same setup as before however there has been five horsepower increase because there has been a minor upgrade to that of the motors attached along with the engine what's notable about the hybrids is that there is no more 19 inch wheels on the hybrids 17s and 18s one in the middle the center is the cityscape green color so this one is actually a five-seater configuration so this color right here is the interstellar gray next up is the snow white pearl which is the gravity trim so the gravity trim also gets different front radiator grille as well as the wheel and this color in the middle is actually called volcanic sand brown i like it turned out real nice